Hi, I thought I'd share with you this uh, little birdhouse that I've made. Um, it's made from a cardboard insert from some kitchen towel. You know, the nice strong uh, card that you don't ever want to throw away because you think, oh, there must be some use for that. So uh, this is what I've made out of it. And I've basically used a uh, glitter card and some jewellery findings and some beads and uh, I thought it look, looked quite pretty so I thought I'd just uh, give you a quick demo on uh, how I made it. Okay then, stay tuned, see you in a bit. Um, <clears throat> so, what you want to be able to do is cut about, excuse me, <clears throat> cut about five centimetres uh, off that because you don't want it too um, big about five centimetres and try and shape it to this like um, do you call it a gable end? I'm not quite sure you should know the uh, all the dolls houses that I do and how I did that how I shaped it I drew a template because I want to make more of these. So I just made a, a template, I just cut uh, a piece of card and basically drew around that so that was my guide so I could actually cut the other side out even. So that's how you want to um, cut it out. Now I cut it out using a craft knife but Please be very careful if you choose to do with a craft knife. I made some little holes in the bottom of the card. Now, fair enough, that's going to be covered, but I still want to mark it out. And again, how I did that, I made a template. <coughs> Excuse me. And just visualised it, just sort of eyeballed it and just to get it even because you want to be able to, if I show you again on this, have it even dangle <coughs> like that. So just to give it an even dangle, what I did is I made sure, I eyeballed it from the top there and just marked it off from there and turned it round and did exactly the same thing. It's just easier that way. There we go. Make sure it's all well stuck down. So now we've got it to that stage. What I would then do is I would fold it in. Like this. There's no, really no need to cut it off because what you then want to do is fold it in like that. <clears throat> What's it? Excuse me. <clears throat> right, so now what I want to do is I want to put some more glitter paper on the top of this roof section. Now I've cut this roof section out just kind of big enough just to go over the top there. And I wrote this down, it's five centimetres by four centimetres. So that's all I've got to do is that. So again, I'm going to stick this. I don't know whether I like these glue pens or not. It's the first time I'm using them. They're okay for a quick card and for this demo because you don't really get stuck up. Let's get out the way. Well, saying that, you're not supposed to get stuck up, but you always do. Right. So we'll cover this. You don't need to worry too much about raw edges because we're going to put some fancy little frill around it. So like that. Would have been better if I got it a little bit better than that, but it's always more difficult doing a demo, isn't it? Not to worry. Right, so we've got it like that. So now we want to stick the roof on. I find hot glue quite good for this uh, 
So get it central like that and I kind of put it down like that and then run the hot glue just along here, just here, all round like that. So. Don't want to get a big splodge on the uh, on the glitter card, so I'm going to take my time with this. I tried to use my battery uh, glue gun, but it uh, just died on me. Don't have to worry, I can do this. It's like the cord gets in the way on these glue guns, but it's the quick, instant, sticky. Which if I do it that way, it doesn't matter so much. So just stick it along there like that. If there is any gaps, just slide them, hide them. <clears throat> That's the beauty of craft. It's amazing what we can hide. Right, so just follow this little perch, and I used uh, a cocktail stick for that. And uh, I'm going to make some holes at the bottom for the beads to go. So what I would do is I would get, I would look at it <clears throat> and decide where. I was going to put a little hole because you want to see that. So about about there. You can either mark it with a pen or just go straight for it. Right. So don't want to burn your fingers. So, so we'll just put it there like that. So now, like I say, what we want to do is make the holes. And basically, if you look inside your tube, your holes will be there. So, with my pokey tool, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just stick through there. I think I forgot to make the hole before I put the. That's it. Keeping my fingers out of the way. There we go. Right. So then get your cocktail stick and just stick it in. Look. So. You should be able to get a bit of hot glue down the middle there. Or any other glue to be quite honest. Right. I certainly have got some hot glue down there, one big splodge. Right, so we've got it. <laughs> Obviously we don't need it that long, so we're going to cut this off. So, just about, I, I reckon, wow. Well, Right, hold on to this. So we've got it like that. Right, so now what we want to do is add the danglers. So basically what I've made up are these um, little hearts, the nice little glass hearts. And all I've done is I've um, added a jump ring onto an eye pin and another little flower bead there and just added three pieces of chain. Sorry about this. Yes, sorry me. about that. I've forgotten where I am now. Right. Um, yeah, what I was going to do is put these dampers on here. So... Uh, I've made, made up these dangles here 
And what I'm going to do now is just open these up. So, open them up quite wide because otherwise you just won't get them through the card. And that is what we're going to do. I'm just going to stick that through there. And close that jump ring up like so. So I'm going to uh, finish off. So all I've done with this then is I've just added the danglers. I put all the four danglers on and just put a little bit of ribbon just around the bottom there. So what we need to do now is uh, attach a ribbon. Now in this uh, little one here I used the matching ribbon but I've, I've ran out of uh, this ribbon here. So before you actually stick the roof on if you wanted to do the ribbon bit uh, just tie, just thread some ribbon through and tighten a knot and glue the underneath of the and a nice big dollop of hot glue in order for it to stick quite well. Don't want it to ooze out everywhere. So we'll get this and we'll just push that off onto it. Like that. And that should stick nice and firmly. And I'd leave it to kind of set for a bit before I hang it up. So you can either put one or two extra bits on the other side. So my favourite little peel off here. I'm just going to let's have a look. Where should we put this? I'm going to put one on the roof there. That's it. And another one so how you decorate it is it you know entirely up to you I'll stick one there so there you go let's get these strands of glue there you have it a little birdhouse made from the uh, kitchen towel holder well, I hope you've liked that, and uh, if I think of anything else that I can show you, I'm sure there'll be other um, little videos. Anyway, thanks for joining me then. See you again soon.